Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So guys, in today's video, we are going to understand what are controlled and uncontrolled components. Before starting the video, if you are new to my channel, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, if you haven't checked the React.js playlist yet, please make sure to do so. Let's start understanding what are controlled and uncontrolled components now. So first of all, let us start with controlled components. So in React, controlled and uncontrolled components both refer to different approaches for managing form inputs. Now let us understand what is controlled component. So in controlled components, React manages form data by storing input values in component state. When the user interacts with the form, React handles the changes by updating the component state. Okay, so we have read the statement what is controlled components. Now let us go to code and let's try to understand via code what the statement. Okay. So we have taken one example here. I have created a component named as control. Now in this, what I'm going to do is I'm first of all going to write a return statement and we are going to understand what are control components by an example. So it will be much helpful and much easier for you to understand. Okay. So I'm creating a dev. Let me write a H1, which will say controlled component. Now we have control component on the screen. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create an input because we understood that controlled components are a uh, way by which react manages the form inputs okay so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to write a placeholder and enter name so we have an input with a placeholder next thing that we want is now how we will manage the data that i'm entering inside for example here what if i'm writing rahul and i want to store this data okay so how do we do it so usually what we do is we use use state hook so let me create a use state hook we have already seen this multiple times so input value use state and here we are going to initialize with the empty string. Next, what we want to do is we are going to pass value and the value we are going to write state that is input value. And next, here I'm going to write an on change event handler. So whenever there is a change, then what should happen is should update the state. So event and then set input value event dot target dot value. So by doing this, what we are doing is we are storing the value of our input in our this state. But what if I want to see the value? Okay. So for that, what we can do is we will create a button and on the click of that button, we want to show the value that we have currently in the input in the console. So let's do that. For example, uh, I'm creating a button here. The button name is going to be submit and here I'm going to write an on click event handler and the, it will point, it will call the function handle submit. Let's define the function. What we want that this function should do whenever I click on the button, this function should be called and then it should console log my input value, whatever is there. Okay. So let's save this and let's see if it is working. So let me clear the console first and let me write some value here. So I'm writing my name. When I click on submit, you can see in the console, our value is getting printed. So what's the main point of writing this code is we are understanding how our input value is getting stored and getting managed by react state. Okay. So in this example, what is happening is react itself is managing the value of the input so if for example if i update it okay so and then i click on submit if you see the next value also which got updated got updated in my state and then react is managing it and whenever we are clicking on it it is console logging that state okay and by this all the things that are, that are happening is getting controlled by react itself okay and we are not using any external thing so in this way when the input values are getting controlled by react this is called as controlled component so let's read the statement once again so in controlled components react manages form data by storing input values in component state when the user interacts with the form react handles the changes by updating the component state so we have understood all this react is managing the form data by storing the value in the state and whenever there is an update in the uh, state react itself is managing by updating the value in the state so this is what is controlled components now let us move on to our second thing which is uncontrolled component so it is very important so again we are going to follow the same straight approach first of all we are going to read this statement then we are going to understand the example then again we are going to come back on this statement and understand it so let's read it first uncontrolled components allow form data to be handled by the dom itself rather than by react in this approach you still use the react to set up the initial state of the form inputs but then the form inputs are controlled by the dom you can obtain their values using references after the component has been rendered. Okay. In the similar way, let's now go to our code. And again, I have created one more component, uncontrolled component. And my app.js, I have called both the components that is controlled and uncontrolled. So whatever the code that we write in uncontrolled.jsx file will display here below this code. Okay. So let's start writing that. So again, as always, let me create a return statement. 
and inside that I'm going to have a div. So here I'm going to write a H1 which will say uncontrolled components. So if you see uncontrolled component is getting displayed here. Now let's do the same thing. So here we will understand how input is getting handled in uncontrolled component. Okay, so in the input value. So first of all, I've created our input. Okay, here again I'm going to this time I'm going to provide a default value. So in React we have a default value prop. In this, whatever I write will be considered as the default value. Okay, so for example, if I'm writing Rahul, so the default value for this input is going to be Rahul. And if you want to change, you can remove it and update it later. But the default value is going to be Rahul. Okay. So in this way, React app has this prop that is default value. Now let's move forward and again let's create a button first of all. And button is going to say the same thing, submit, and let's create also a on click event handler which will again call the function handle submit and let's write a handle submit definition so const handle submit and here what we want is basically we want to console log something so for for now i'm just saving this much now in this case we want to understand how our input value we can obtain so the other way of doing it is using refs okay so what we can do is i can create a ref a constant so let me create it const input ref is equals to use ref and use ref is a hook okay and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to pass this ref as a reference to my input so what i'm doing is i'm referencing my input using this value okay then, then what i can do is in order to get the value of whatever is stored in my input what i can do in my console.log i can write something like this input ref dot current dot value and this what it will do is it will give us the current value that is there in the Ref, okay and we also need to import this ref okay so now if you see we have something like this so our default value is rahul and when i click on submit you can see rahul is getting printed again if i update something here and when i click on submit the updated message is getting printed but you, you have clearly seen the difference between the two so in controlled component everything was getting controlled by react but here what we are doing is we are referencing via dom so when we use use ref hook okay what we are doing is we are referencing via the dom okay so, but this is not a good practice. We have already seen it in the previous video that we should only use use ref when it is actually needed. But for these kinds of cases where we have different options available like use state and all, we should not use use ref. Okay, because what it is doing is it is manipulating the DOM. Okay, it is just trying to get the values from DOM and it is not a best practice that you uh, play with DOM in React. Okay, so now let us see what is happening. Uh, for example, in this console.log statement, what I'm writing is input ref dot current dot value. So what I want to do show you is if I remove this current dot value and I just write input ref. Okay. And when I click on submit, what it is giving us is an object. So if you see, this is giving us an object that is current ref current. So input ref, what it is doing is it is referencing this input okay, and giving me an object with all the properties of this input. So if you see in the current, we have current is what object. And it has all these properties of this input. For example, in this only you can see a property that is value. And the value is contains what? Value contains the current value of the input. So in this way, when I write input ref and then current, which is the object, and in that current, what I want is value uh, property. So when I do this, when I click on submit, it gives me the current value of the input. So in this way, basically, we can get the uh, value in uncontrolled component. Let's now read the statement once again to make our concept very strong. Uncontrolled components allow form data to be handled by DOM itself. So when I say DOM itself, we were using use ref hook rather than by React. So in this case, React was not handling our input. In this approach, you still use React to set up the initial state of the form inputs. Now this statement is very uh, important because you know what we are doing is the initial value we are setting using the default value, right? So this is only what is called that. Uh, we are setting the default initial value of the input using the react so because this default value is a prop that is provided by react so that is why we are saying that in this approach you still use the react to set up the initial state of the form inputs but then the form inputs are controlled by the dom you can obtain their values using references after the component has been rendered and we have actually seen that we have used use ref hook and we were referencing the values of the input and getting that uh, displayed in the console so this is what is controlled and uncontrolled component i hope now you have got the understanding of controlled and uncontrolled components in vi and if you found the video helpful please give it a like and if you are new to the channel please subscribe to the channel thanks for watching the video